is another garbage woke so that I don't want to watch. Magical Girl Friendship Squad is fun, but brings on more dead millennial humor than war. So Magical Girl Friendship Squad is another so that has come out. Again, this is more proof that Hollywood is obsessed with wokeness. They're obsessed with making every single thing woke. And nobody wants to see it. Nobody likes this stuff. But Hollywood can't get the memo that nobody likes this stuff. And nobody likes wokeness in movies. Nobody around the world even. That's why you had movies like Mary Back in the National Flop. You had movies like, you know, Dark Phoenix Flop, Booksmart. None of these movies were successful. Mulan was a flop all around the world. You know, nobody is, nobody, no one's gonna watch a 355. No one's gonna watch a Noah Holmes or any of these woke garbage, okay? You know, those are things about, what do we got the facts? Okay, Dark Phoenix, these three movies, Dark Phoenix, Man Back to National, and Alita. Which one made more money? Alita. Because Alita wasn't woke. That's why. The ever popular typical millennial narrative has been permeated media for the past decade. Wearing ribbery at the notion that it mostly flies out of a be irresponsible younger generation. We have the rights but with some sense that tend to conveniently ignore the fact that the current age of millennials actually swings from the mid 20s to late 30s. We get the father of the entire peer group of Ryan we decided to forego home and phone up in favor of our car toast while cinematically decaying the top of its doors is too delightfully absurd not to explore. Even as reductive and potentially ill-formed. The inherent hurdle of TV that hit this of a spherical moral narrative at this time, he would fear he was almost be almost cynical. After all, there are only so so many ways to reference Snapchat and TikTok and all this and all this stuff to gag comedy before dialogue turns out. You know, in some ways, sci-fi's adult comedy series Bad School Friendship Squad, a series existing in an animated source created by Kelsey Stepanese, understands that to read the set more aspects of stereotypical, you know, Marina culture of anime inspired war and imagery in more predictable ways here as well. Here as well. But, yeah. I don't want to go over spoilers over here. But, yeah. This movie is just basically relying on woke humor. Basically, you know, stuff here. But let's see. Most hated by most of the internet. Well, because nobody likes this show. Nobody likes this show at all. Okay. Let's see some of the things, okay? Let's see the gamer scene. The scene where they make fun of gamers, okay? There was a scene in the show where they make fun of gamers. And, yeah. Here. Here. There was a, yeah, there's a scene where they make fun of gamers in the show. And they basically... They made gamers like the stereotypical gamer, and they literally sold gamer the frog, and yeah, there. And all the jokes are like we are all, and it's so as a feminist, so they switch all the males, like in most feminist garbage, to all be you know great, you know basically like this. Here, you know, magical girl friends episodes premiering at September twenty sixth at midnight. Everybody was so excited. Well, we didn't realize how bad the show was. Okay. How do I search for stuff? I am honestly confused. Oh, yeah, there we go. Magical. Go. Friendship Squad. And, you can, and we'll show you some of the screenshots of the show. This whole scene is very important with Magical Girl Squad, the Magical Girl parody that parodies that very parodies Magical Girl culture. It's kind of well when panty and stocking. Doesn't even feel like it was written to someone who likes Magical Girl anime, but someone who was more interested in gain Twitter culture into Magical Girl anime. And here is the scene I was talking about. Here is the scene I'm talking about. A screenshot of a real cartoon that is on a television network. Yep. They're portraying people who play video games as this. Okay? As this. Okay, you know, here we go again, we moved uh, because they, and yeah, they also, you hear again, this is the villain in the Magical Girl Squad, it, it, you know, we all know who this is supposed to be, David, you know, here, they call this the Magical Girl Squad, I call it Obsessed, 
Yeah, they're making fun of the president again. That's basically every woke show's, you know, narrative. We gotta make fun of the president in some form or way. We gotta make fun of gamers. We gotta make fun of men. Make out men look like horrible. You know, the reason why people love shows like Taylor Moon and stuff is not because of politics. Nobody wants to see. But uh, it's so visible to wax up to a six-year-old. It makes the Sonic 2 comics look like a masterpieces in comparison. Okay? And even the woke, even they don't like it. Even the woke doesn't like it. That's just surprising, okay? You know, it has bad things, Star Man titled Anime. Okay? Anime is an entire, is a, they're basically making fun of an entire culture here. Is this guy who has anime. They're making fun of the entire culture, an entire country, which is Japan. They're making fun of an entire country in this show. Okay? So, so this is another show to completely avoid. Magical Girl Squad, complete failure. Nobody wants to see it at all. Nobody cares about this show. Okay? This show is going to be another failure that no one's going to remember. 1.7 on IMDb, 4.7. Even the woke don't want to watch it. 3.8 on IMDb. Okay, 3.8 on IMDb. This is Origins, 3.8. This is the Masked Girl Friendship Squad. The show has a 6.7. Of course, they're going to give her a 6.7 because that's how IMDb is. They give woke shows such great scores and value them so greatly. And this is why nobody can trust IMDb when it comes to anything woke, okay? And you look at the episodes, they have such bad reviews, but all the woke gave it, made, you know, all the woke bots gave it a higher score. I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10 to counter the woke bots, you know? But yeah, the first episode has a 3.2 out of 10, okay? That is abysmal. Episode 2, okay? You know, episode 2 is a 3.2 out of 10. Okay, this shows just nothing but a massive failure. No one's watching this. Magical Girl Squad is hated by the entire internet. Even the woke hate it, which is, which is a very, very hard thing to do. All the woke, you know, went behind Doc Phoenix and all these woke movies of 2019. They went behind Mulan. They went behind Cuties. But they won't even they don't even want to watch this because it's just garbage. It's ma they, they make fun of the audience that they're supposed to be going towards the ma the anime audience. It's just absolutely just hilarious how this show is just backfiring as a whole. Magic of you know, Friendship Squad Origins, you know, Magic of Friendship Squad is nothing but a failure. Okay, the villain is literally Trump. You know, mix with Zaza, no, not Zaza, Jabba the Hutt. You know, they, they they make fun of gamers and anime fans. Was that, was that supposed to be the audience that people are going to be watching it? But you make fun of your own audience, so it's by number nine all over again. And all the jokes in, in the movie are probably just PC woke references. You know, probably references to Twitter, references to TikTok, and all the stuff that nobody cares about except for... The millennial, not even millennials want to watch this. This is supposed to be a show for millennials. Well, I bet they'll probably be just watching the classics instead of this garbage. Probably stuff that they grew up with from the 90s. So, yeah, this show is nothing but a big failure. That's basically, and nothing but a woke pile of garbage. And that's basically it. Goodbye.